in this bitch, coming at you, pre-recorded, that a motherfucker. So today, we got ourselves here, a uh, Wii U 5.52 hack tutorial. We're gonna install Hackschi into a exploitable virtual console DS game, which happens to be Brain Age. Because it's a more reliable entry point than the web browser exploit, especially on 5.52 from what I can gather. All of my systems are on 5.51, and I self-host, so usually the exploit is pretty decent for me, but uh, I got a buddy who has a Nintendo Network ID account. That, that's also another reason why I never did this exploit. I don't actually have a Nintendo account, and you have to purchase a virtual console game for real money. That's $7 right there. So to begin, we're going to make sure that you're logged into your Nintendo Network ID account. Then we're just going to go to the eShop. Open that up. Uh, you're going to want to go to Brain Age. And as you can see, this is the Virtual Console DS version. Download that. This was already purchased by him, so we're good to go. If you want to be anonymous, buy the gift cards. Uh, make a fake account. I don't know. Do, do something like that. But anyways, get out of there. Once you got that, next requirement, you're going to need an SD card. So let's go ahead and see if this one has an SD card. Well, you look at that. We're in luck. So this is a 2 gigabyte SD card. For the purpose of this video, this is good enough. If, you, if you're going to want to rip discs or install games, you're going to probably want a bigger memory card, at least 16 or 32 gigabytes. But this, for this purpose of what we're doing right now in this video, it's perfect. Although, you will need to format this, so let's go ahead into the computer and do that. Alright, I'm just going to put the SD card into the computer. And open it up. You see we got some shit on here. If you want to make a backup of that, go ahead and do that. I don't think this memory card uh, matters right now. So I'm going to go to Format. Make sure you format it to FAT32. And the allocation, I guess, will put a uh, default. If you got a bigger card, you're going to want FAT32 with uh, the 32 kilobyte clusters. It's not an option here, but I'll stick with this for now. Go ahead and format that. Hit OK. Next, we're gonna do some prep work. All right, it's formatted. So we're gonna go to Google. You're gonna to wanna to Google DMOK, D-I-M-O-K-789. That says GitHub, which is right here. For this, you're gonna to want to go to Homebrew Launcher, go to Releases. You don't want the channel. You don't want 1.4. You don't want 1.3. So go ahead and download that, save the link, and uh, it's good to go. I got it downloaded here already, so we're good for that. Next, you're gonna Google Fix 94. I'm gonna go to his GitHub, which is also right here. Go to Hacks Chi. Go to Releases. You're gonna want to download the Hacks Chi archive. Save link as. We got these files right here. These are the two files we need. Let me zoom in a little bit so you're not uh, squinting at everything I show you. So, extract the Hackschi zip archive as well as the homebrew launcher one. You're gonna wanna move these two folders at the root of your SD card. Then take the homebrew launcher and you can drag that into the root as well and it'll replace the, or merge the folders, I mean. So now that we go into apps, you got both the homebrew launcher as well as Hackschi. Should be good to go, except one thing here. Go into your Hackschi folder, open up your config text, uh, replace everything here with the following. A equals Wii U forward slash apps forward slash homebrew underscore launcher forward slash homebrew underscore launcher dot elf. On the next line, hit enter. Default equals sys menu. Cl go ahead and close that out save it and now you can eject your memory card and we will see you on the Wii side now that we got our memory card all good you're gonna insert it into the Wii U SD card slot make sure you're connected to the internet because you need it from this point on just for this uh, initial exploit go ahead and click on internet browser if for whatever reason you see the curtains are closed go ahead and hit X it'll open the curtains that 
for some reason helps out the success rate of this. And you're gonna wanna go to loading.ovh, hit okay, and just hit submit. The hack should be working, should do its thing. Uh, if it works, you're gonna see the white Wii U screen. If all goes well. There we go, awesome. So now we got the Hacks G installer. Go ahead and click that, hit load. I gotta say the success rate was actually pretty good just now. It only took one attempt, so that's that's pretty fucking good. So it automatically detects which game. There, there's also another list of games. They're all virtual console uh, Nintendo DS games. This just happens to be the cheapest one at $7. The other ones are like $10, I believe. So select your game, hit A. So it says, this will install hacks cheats. Remove it, you have to delete and reinstall the game. If you are sure, press A, else press home. So hit A. It's gonna do the exploit. So it's basically injecting the hacks cheat code. Well, it already did it. It injects the hacks cheat code into your brain age game. So that now that's your entry point instead of using the browser exploit. Pretty fucking cool. Although now you can't use that game at all. So you paid seven dollars just to avoid going onto uh, the browser exploit, which I'd rather keep my seven dollars to be honest. But uh, it's a nice, convenient hack, and I'll show you what's what's gonna happen right when we come back in here. So now we got hacks G, and you are. Yeah, let's get some sound in this bitch. Go ahead and hit A. And this does exactly what the Mocha custom firmware uh, exploit, I guess, did through the homebrew browser. So now we're good. We're on Hacks G, baby. You're good. 5.52. It's very simple. And there you have it, folks. Here we are. Hacks G. You are officially hacked. If you want to do anything else, I'll show you uh, maybe in another little tutorial or something. But that's it, man. You are officially hacked. You could play anything you want. You could uh, run exploits. Everything uh, coming to you for a jailbroken system or hacked system or whatever you want to call it. Well, anyways, that's about it. I just want to thank you guys for watching and uh, peace out!